how can COVID-19 disease affect our metabolism and what can we do to fix it, aka can fasting come to the rescue? That's the topic of today's video. My name is Dr. Mikhail Rashik of Neurogenomics. Let's get started. And I was uh, reading this paper recently and the paper basically talked about the topic of the of the review I was studying, which was given to me by one of the participants of the COVID-19 events. And the topic of the video was, how can we deal with senescent cells? So first let's maybe talk about what are senescent cells. So basically senescent cells are cells that were programmed not no longer to divide. So they lose their ability to be able to, to produce daughter cells. So clearly, not a welcome situation because basically that's actually one of the major hallmarks of aging is the accumulation of senescent cells. Okay, so, and it, it talked about to some degree like what are some clinical studies in animals with some supplements that might help to remove senescent cells, etc. But the part that caught my attention the most was mentioning that a ketogenic diet, so basically a diet that promotes the production of ketone bodies, which is a, a type of, type of uh, sugar form that acts as a specific type of energy source, as well as exercise and fasting helps to promote removal of senescent cells, and it does it through properly altering the metabolism of, of cells. By metabolism, what do I mean? It's basically how these cells break down different fuel source chemicals and use them. So metabolism is the broad word that mentions basically how do our, our cells break down different chemicals and start using these chemicals to it for its own purposes. Hey, I was supposed to show you some of this. And... Uh, and the key message here is that the big player that is especially valuable because of fasting and the one that the, the metabolic component that really has a big influence is referred to as beta hydroxybutyrate, which is a type of a ketone body. And it appears to be a major one that helps to restore proper function of cells and reduce the senescence. And the reason why it captured my attention is because that ketone body is especially produced in large quantity with fasting. So I thought that was super interesting. I already made a video on fasting before and COVID-19 and that fasting apparently decreased the predisposition of people to suffer from severe COVID-19. And so I started looking at a little bit more and there was another study came out not long ago that showed, this was really interesting, that this ketone body, this chemical, um, beta hydroxybutyrate, can be influential as well in COVID-19 itself. And the authors of the study it's really interesting what they did. What, uh, what they did is they took patients who were suffer, suffering from acute respiratory distress syndrome. So this is basically, we've, we've seen this with severe COVID-19. This is where you have severe problems, obviously, with the lungs. And they compared it between this syndrome between COVID-19, as well as those who experience it because of influenza infection, as well as those who experience it because of bacterial infections. And when they looked at the metabolites between, between these different patients who were suffering from this, those with COVID-19, there's always a problem when you're hiking to the top of a mountain, <laughs> those who, were, who had COVID-19, had the lowest levels of those ketone bodies, uh, that beta hydroxybutyrate. So the authors were interested in this and 
and fascinated. Hey, it's like, hey, what does this, this mean? And also, these patients, COVID-19 patients, had a had larger amount of their T cells non-functional, so not working as ideally as possible. And they were curious whether they can help the situation with supplementing with that ketone body, that beta hydroxybutyrate. And, and apparently it did, so that when the supplementation was used for on these COVID-19, severe COVID-19 patients, it did help to alleviate the symptoms. So, so much so that the authors were even mentioning the possibility, perhaps we could be thinking of beta hydroxybutyrate as a form of treatment for severe COVID-19 as well. And another thing that they mentioned that I also thought was really interesting was that the T cells of these COVID-19 patients, they also were showing signs of exhaustion. And recall in one of my previous videos, one of the ways you can measure that is you look at the specific, specific molecular marker on the surface of these T cells. That marker is PD-1. When T cells start expressing PD-1, it refers to the fact that they are being exhausted. They're just simply not going to be as functional anymore. And once again, supplementation with beta-hydroxybutyrate, the ketone body, help to restore that. So it actually reduce, reduce the, reduce the T-cell exhaustion. So I thought that was super interesting, especially since, as I mentioned, that ketone body is produced, especially in a very high amount during fasting. So I'm interested in fasting myself. I already do inter intermittent fasting practically every day. Not today. Today I actually had to eat breakfast because, well, here I am, I'm going to be climbing. So I need my energy. But otherwise, I actually fast every day. And me and my marketing director were gearing up to do finally for the first time it took me a long time to build up enough courage and confidence and we're going to be fasting for 48 hours and that's partially the reason why we want those ketone bodies so so it's uh, already known in the past that that fasting can can definitely help as well affect uh, the metabolism and as a consequence help to promote proper re restoration of the of function of many immune cells. And here I give you another example of some recent study where they were able to show how well that even managed to work, not through fasting, but through supplementation in COVID-19 patients. I'm going to go the harder way and I'm going to try fasting, but I thought I would share this information with you in this short video because, um, yeah, I thought that's another cool way to try how how do we help ourselves under the current circumstances where our immune systems might have been compromised by the pandemic what can we do and i really am interested in <laughs> less invasive methods as opposed to ones that where you have to put something in your body so that's why fasting is of is one of those methods that are of, of interest to me another one that uh, that i found very fascinating is of course practicing improving your own sense of optimism because of the powerful effect of positive nature to optimism on the purported powerful effect uh, on your immune system as well so i'm trying to to do that as well and 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 that just being you know like being tricky like for example practicing sense of gratitude every day in order for me to be in a healthier mental state um, than not and another one, my favorite, obviously, is get outdoors, go outside, go inside nature. And it doesn't have to be on top of a mountain to enjoy nature, that's for sure. Although, you know, I, I don't complain about these views. So I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tell your friends, share with people, leave comments. And, and uh, yeah, go outdoors as much as you can. And I look forward to seeing you in in another future installment. Bye everyone.